You have to bear in mind that I got to this school almost 50 years ago. I'm old enough to be the grandfather of almost every student here. It was a very small school. I doubt that there were 4,000 people in the entire school, probably between 3,000 and 3,500. I look at this and I go, my God, I, I, I never saw anything like this when I went to school here. We were like underground, it seemed. People my age who went here in the 60s and the 70s as well, that was one of the things that, that they took home with them, was the sense that it's so new, it doesn't look like a real school. It didn't look like the college of their dreams. It didn't have the ivy, it didn't have the architecture. I had no concept that things could be built up into the hills and have the panoramic views that they have. Not only does it not look like my school, it looks like a real school. Most of the kids that I went to school with were first generation going to college. Most of them were very, very aggressive who thought, I'm the first in my family to go to college and damn it, I'm gonna get out of this college and I'm gonna make something of myself. And if you could succeed here against these other kids that were running as fast as they could, then you could succeed anywhere. I started out as a newspaper reporter and I learned some of those skills here. I worked for what was then the Colonial News. I always wanted to be a sports writer and I was a sports writer. And then I went into radio and then I went into television and that was found. You can look at what I've done in my career and you can know that, that some of that came from here.